In this video, I will show you how you can stream your Linux desktop to a different device over the network with minimum latency. Using this method, the latency is so low that you could even play games at 60 FPS over your Wi-Fi. In this video, we will use Moonlight, the open source implementation of NVIDIA's game stream protocol. I will show you how you can set it up on your Linux desktop and then I will stream the desktop to a different device. In my case, this will be an LG Smart TV running webOS. So I will also show you how to set up the LG Smart TV. This method is a bit more complicated to set up, but it's worth it because for instance you can stream your game and play it from a different device with a decent frame rate. Now if you just want an easy way to share your desktop or maybe a presentation and the frame rate doesn't matter to you, in a previous video I showed you how you can share your Linux desktop with an LG Smart TV over Wi-Fi. No setup required on the Smart TV, it works with most modern TVs or any network display. So if you want a quick way how to share your desktop with a smart TV or any display over the network, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part if you want. Now what is actually Moonlight? So let's see. Moonlight open source NVIDIA game stream client. So you can stream your game from your gaming rig and then play your game and control it from a different device. So it supports stream up to 4K with HDR, support for 120 FPS, run your own cloud gaming server, many client platforms are supported, it's open source and completely free. And down here you can see the list of clients that are supported. So you can basically stream it to any platform you like, including the LG WebOS TV and we will take a look at this one today. Now these are all clients and you install the client application on a device that you want to stream to and on the other side the device that is actually streaming needs a Moonlight server. And the server is actually called Sunshine. This is the server site. So if I scroll down and go to the documentation, about. So Sunshine is a self-hosted game stream host for Moonlight, offering low latency cloud gaming server capabilities with support for AMD, Intel and Nvidia GPUs for hardware encoding. Down here you can see the minimum requirements and also the 4K suggestions. It also supports a lot of platforms. If you go to downloads, at the time of recording, this one is the latest version. And if you scroll down, if you're using Windows, you have a Windows installer down here, also a portable version. If you're using Linux, then you have a variety of packages here. You can install it on Debian, on Fedora, on Ubuntu, as an app image, as a flat pack. So this should cover most Linux distros. In this video, I will use the flat pack version and I will use the package from FlatHub. Here is the Sunshine package from FlatHub. And if you click on this drop down, you should see the Flatpak install and Flatpak run command. I will use the first one to install Sunshine, so let's copy that. And let's open the terminal. Now if this is the first time that you're installing a Flatpak application, you first need to install Flatpak itself. In case you're using Arch, it's very easy. Just do sudo pacman s Flatpak and install. Yes, and that's it. If you don't know how to install Flatpak on your distro, you can go here to the About page and then set up instructions. And now here, find your distro. As you can see, there are many of those. For instance, if you're using Ubuntu, then click Ubuntu. And then here you have the installation instructions. Now with that out of the way, let's go back to the console and let's paste in the Flatpak install sunshine command and enter. Do you want to install it? Yes. Perfect. Sunshine is installed. Now let's run it. Sunshine. Sunshine actually has a web UI that runs in your browser and it uses a self-signed certificate. That's why you see this screen here. Just go to technical information and go accept risk and proceed. Now give it a username and password. I will go with the default Sunshine and add a password. Log in. And now let's log in with the same user and password. Authenticate. And this is now Sunshine running on your machine. It warns us that a new version is available. So obviously the Flatpak version is a bit older. 
If you want, you can configure Sunshine, but usually the defaults are good as they are. If you go to Applications, these are the default applications that are configured to be streamed. So you can stream your desktop as it is, or in a lower quality. And you also have Steam in here by default, if you want to stream your games. You can also add your own applications if you want to stream those. But for this video, the defaults are good enough. The Sunshine Moonlight server is running, and this now was the server side. Let's now take a look at the client side. For the client, as I said, we will use the LG WebOS TV. So let's see how to install the Moonlight client there. Go to download. Moonlight TV. Now this is the client application that needs to be installed on your LG Smart TV running WebOS. And we will install it using the Dev Manager desktop application that runs on your PC. So we will connect the PC to the WebOS TV and then remotely install the Moonlight client using this Dev Manager desktop application. Now to be able to install applications on the WebOS TV, we first need to enable the developer option. You can find the necessary steps under Documentations, Installation Guide, and now down here, under Enable Developer Mode, you have the link to the steps. And the easiest thing to do is just to install the Developer Mode app from the LG Store. And down here you can see the steps how to do it, and also how to turn it on. Now one thing that you will need to have is an LG account. You can click on this link and create one, it's free, and I already did that, so I will skip this step. Now I will switch the camera and show you how to turn on developer mode on your LG Smart TV. I'm now inside the menu of my LG Smart TV and here we need to find and select apps. Now inside apps, search for an application called developer mode and select it. Install the developer mode application and start it. Inside developer mode, we first need to log in with an LG account that we created previously. Once we're logged in, enable dev mode status and when prompted, just restart. Once the LG TV is restarted, open the menu again and start the developer mode app. Inside the developer mode app, dev mode status should be turned on. And now in addition, we need to turn on the key server. Now remember the IP address of your LG TV on the left hand side and the passphrase. We will need it in the next step, so just for now leave the developer mode app running. Enabling developer mode was the first step and the second step is to install Dev Manager Desktop application. Dev Manager Desktop, this is the official repository. And now let's find latest release and here. You can choose the package based on your platform. So for instance, if you're using Windows, then you can use this MSI installer. If you're using Mac, then you can use the DMG file. And if you're using Linux, then you can choose between an app image or a dev file. So in case you're using Ubuntu or a Debian based distribution, you can download and install the dev file. And if you're using Arch as I am, then go with the app image. So let's download that one. Download complete. Let's find it. Here is the application. Now under properties, let's make it executable. Okay. Now if this is the first time that you're running an app image, then open the console. And let's first install Fuse using Pac-Man. And now you can run the app image. So let's do that. Let's run it. So we are using the developer mode and next. And again, you have the steps that you need to do to enable developer mode. We already did that. So this is all done. Let's go next. Now we need to connect to the LG TV. Give your device a name. I will leave TV as it is. And now here, write the IP address from the developer mode app that was running on the LG TV that we saw previously. In my case, this is it. And also write the passphrase. Again, that is shown in the developer mode app. And finish. Perfect. We are now connected to the LG TV. And now let's go to apps and available. Let's find Moonlight. This is the client application and click install. Perfect. Moonlight is now installed on my LG TV. I will now start Moonlight and switch the camera. Inside the LG TV menu, you should now find the installed Moonlight application. So let's run it. This is the Moonlight client application and first we need to pair it with a PC where the Sunshine server is running. So let's add it. 
Here you need to write the IP address of your PC. In case you don't know how to get this one, write IP address into the console on your PC and you should get the IP address. Now add this one. And now you should see the added PC in Moonlight. Select it. Now we actually need to pair it with the server. So remember the pin code and open the Sunshine server on your PC. Inside the Sunshine server site, go to the pin tab, write in your pin and send. You need to do this pairing only once and this is necessary because once the client is paired it has control over your PC so that you can play games remotely for instance. On the TV side we should now see the three applications that were configured inside Sunshine. In my case I want to share the desktop so I will select the first one. And finally my desktop is shared. Again if we go to the applications tab those are the applications that we saw previously. It works as you would expect it. The performance is flawless, no hiccups, no stuttering. For me it feels like I'm connected to the LG TV over HDMI, although I'm connected wirelessly. And now here is the side-by-side -side comparison with my PC. This is now YouTube playing a video. If I turn on options on my TV, then you can see in the top panel it is running at around 60 FPS, which should be good enough for gaming as well. This is now 1280 times 720 and this was configured by default. If you want you can even turn this up to 4K, but then of course I would expect a bit lower frame rate. There is one thing I need to mention. I was using Axorg and in case you're using Wayland, then you need to start the Sunshine server in the console. You can find the command here on the Flathub site, show more. And now this here is the command that you need to call on Wayland, otherwise Sunshine will not work properly. There is also another useful command, this one here. This is all one command. If you have problems with your input, then call this command and it should hopefully work. You need to call this only once. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. Now as we saw in this video I used Arch Linux and this one is actually running from a USB drive. In a previous video I showed you how you can install full Arch Linux on a USB drive, so if you want to use Arch Linux from a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video then like and subscribe, and if you really like the video you also have a super thanks down there, where you can buy me a coffee for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.